team. Well, Bobby, it's a new set of lanes. They didn't use this lane for, for a competition. So it's the first time for the day it's been being used. Jim is standing around the 27 board, similar to Lou. Lou is delivering the ball out past 10, and Jim is more towards the 12 board, a tighter line. He moved a little more inside with that particular shot. Well, he's on a tighter line. You got to remember that Lou throws a lot of ball, so he's using more of the lane, whereas Jim is going down the lane. And he's in a great strike area, Jim is. Because that 12 board, you know, the pocket's 17. So he's got five boards up the hill to 17. And the ball will hit with authority at that line, on that line. Well, this is Louis' fifth trip to the, to the finals of the Staten Island Singles Classic, and he's still looking for his first championship. Down the pocket, ringing 10 pin. You're going to see that, Donnie. When, when you get a guy that throws the big ball, you're going to see these ring and tens, but as, as the game goes on, like I said before, and he becomes more aggressive, tightens up the front of the of the uh, the heads a little bit, not sending it out too far, he'll be carrying that ten. And again, Lou is a very unemotional bowler. He always stays within himself, stays within his game, knows what he has to do when he knows how to get it done. Converts that ten with his... Donnie, how many entries did we wind up with for the three weekends? We ended up with 324, and as a result, we paid 32 spots. It was in the newspaper that the last weekend of bowling that no one broke the ice and yeah. got into the, yeah, top, 16. the top 16. That was very unfortunate, but we still ended up with 324. The other interesting thing that I mentioned early on, there's only one lefty in the top 16, Mike Rossman. Who's standing around 21? They tightened up that line a little bit. You see that, Donnie? And you see the tightened up the line, and there's a result. That could be the first of a long string of strikes for Lou Gordio Jr. Early, I said he was standing around 25, 26. It was actually 21. Just my eyes are going to my old age, Donnie. That's why I wear my glasses. Jim Mackey is appearing in his second finals of the Staten Island Singles Classic. He's been a, a teammate of mine on Sunday morning for a number of years. This, this time he got it out. The last delivery on that lane, he tightened it up a little bit and he went right through the head pin, leaving up a split. This time he gave the ball a little bit more room and it came back and he almost had a 4-9. Well, this should be an easy conversion for Jim Macri, nine pin. We'll go cross lane for this, I'm sure. And convert to spare and that'll help him stay in the match. Fifty percent handicap in this match. Of two ten, and we do carry it through the finals, Bobby, as you know. Good spare conversion by Jim. I watch him against Willie, and uh, he makes the spares, and that's the name of the game, Donnie. That is the name of the game, and right now, that's what you need to stay in a match. You cannot afford an errant shot right now because it'll be very, very costly, against, especially against a bowler of the caliber of Lou Gordio Jr. Lane 17 has been good to Jim. Yeah, He's had two strikes on that lane. Let's see if he can get a third. Everything comes in threes. That time, he... he he hit his target on that shot, Donnie, but he brought his elbow just a little bit that too far out. a little out. lazy, though, Bob. He seemed a little lazy getting down Well, when that'll happen when you rush the line a little bit. That elbow comes way out, and it causes him to come over the ball, and the end result is the ball didn't have enough drive to take out the 10, but he did hit his target. Straight across the lane. And he converts it. Little cause for concern, but he did convert to spare. And so he'll have 67 through four with a spare up. Louis Gordier has 48 through three with a strike in the fourth, looking for the first double of our championship match. Strike here would put him into the lead. High again. High again on 18. No room for error over there at all. Well, 
Yeah. See, Jim made a good adjustment. He, he, he delivered the ball just a little more to the right, and that should have been the key for Lou when Jim was delivering his ball. See that Jim's ball came back pretty strong, almost leaving a 4-9. And, and Lou, that was a, a direct dial to Lou's telephone bell. Yeah. Hey, if he can do it, I'm going to have to go out just a little further than him. Oh, finished with five, Donnie, and we have Lou Gordio with 76 in the fifth. Now, what's Louie thinking right now, Bobby, after that 4 10 split? I don't think he's worried about that. I don't, you know, a good bowler doesn't carry doesn't one, one, one split to the next lane because if you do something like that, you're going to miss a spare or you're going to get another split. Well, he's got to stay focused and go back to square one and 